to lovers of a cult. I'm Fia. We are here as the continuation of a species of aliens. What we do in the fifth stage of magic, dissensum, that is, traveling to these worlds and seeing the preachers of these worlds, and that is where a cult laughs at tradition like nihilism, and it says that if this was metaphysics, it would be physics. You have never reached this wrong theory, that is, you would have seen what I saw. Now you could see the next worlds, and you would have realized that existence does not exist. And what is it? And you understood their dimensions. When religions say that there is only one God, and only Allah, and only Abrahamic religions, we understood that it is not so limited. If all lies promoting the warp world, which is accompanied by punishment and reward, there are other bots who promote other worlds, which is much more enjoyable. And this system of punishment and reward does not exist in them. But in any case, the taste of this God, we do not say Allah's taste, the taste of the creator of the third dimension, is spherical taste, binary taste, flower of life taste, tree of life taste, Fibonacci taste, this discussion of sacred geometry, where there are sacred numbers and sacred frequencies, and what is this flower of life, and why everything proceed according to the flower of life. And when we expand it, in it, we find other interesting symbols, such as the tree of life. In Judaism, they work on these. They created the whole religion with these beliefs, and I can derive dozens of theories from the tree of life, and reach beings of other dimensions. And Judaism has taken one of these, and has reached Allah, and from the entire flower of life. It has only derived the tree of life, and it is working on the third chakra. Well, what is the difference with Buddhism or Krishnaism and about the discussion of sacred geometries and sacred numbers? A lot of work is needed, and no matter how much work is done on a symbol like a flower, there are still side secrets in them that the aliens are promoting them, and everyone is promoting his own thinking. In the next tens of thousands of years, Humans will be superior beings in the third dimension, even compared to aliens. You are much older than us because of human connection with fourth dimension beings, and actually the fraud that man has does, and non-organic beings, demons, angels, all kinds of creatures. Seventy-two types of demon are introduced, and we talk about all of them, and gods, who were each of these gods. And at what time in human history have they come and intervened? They sent the prophets, they made an impact, and performed miracles that were very miraculous for us, and are very simple actions for them. And that man who did not have any technology, that miracle was very strange for him. Traditions and intellectual roots have been created, and a lot of energy that humans send to those beings without even having a gain. Now, and where are these gods now? And who is the supreme god now? Anyway, the discussion of organics and non-organics is a very big debate, and it is a debate that is rooted in the basic beliefs of humans. In the Genome Project, we examined 5,000 human genes. Out of 5,000 genes, one gene is a divine gene one gene is the fat gene. So why does the human body store fat? It is a survival mechanism in humans. And if human can deactivate the fat gene in the human proteome project, they are achieving the process of how to manipulate genetics. In the genome project, we identified 5,000 genes and understood that each gene performs a task. And in the protein project, we want to change them, for example, to deactivate the fat gene, and humans will no longer store fat. They don't need it anymore. The technology has advanced so that it doesn't need to do this for survival, and there is a gene in humans. It is called God gene, divine gene, and what being has placed this gene for us, that we know and believe in a superior being that exists and who is that superior being? And why has this gene been placed in humans? 
And what is the truth? We should be regardless of all our mental knowledge and brainwashing that have been taught to us as good and bad by religions and traditions for years. We should be able to reach a higher level and judge and understand what the truth is. It is a difficult path, but the job of the lovers of a cult is to see this bigger picture and guide mankind, to inform mankind of these facts and to awaken mankind. What choice mankind makes is still in that his fish tank and he accepts a bunch of things or will he see the truth and use all his capacities and be freed from slavery. This is related to the human being. Thank you for your kind comments underscore fear.